Hello and good afternoon again to another video. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago I switched my tires um, and I got the original uh, tires that were delivered with the Aragnet wheels. And those have a foam padding uh, also. So, maybe if you remember, and I'll put the link um, up here or there somewhere. Um, I've, I've done a, a, a review of the uh, so called Continental Conti Silent tires with the foam padding uh, on it, as they are supposed to be a lot quieter, especially in a Tesla. Um, and I found that from an audible level, so pure the experience that he had in the car, it sounded a bit quieter. But the numbers, uh, and I'll put them on the screen here, um, the numbers did not really give the same story. So there was only like one decibel difference or something. Uh, but now that I've got those tires and I've got them on for about two weeks, I really notice that there is a difference. So I started looking into the technology and what it is that it is supposed to be doing um, to make the, the sound more uh, quieter. And I found out that uh, by looking at the Michelin, Goodyear, and Continental websites, that they all use the same uh, terminology. So what they are talking about is reducing the uh, tire cavity noise. Um, and the tire cavity noise is basically the air that is inside the tire. So you have the tire like this, right? And inside the tire, you have uh, a pocket of air, right? And as the tire starts rolling, then that air starts vibrating. That vibration is transmitted then to the wheel from the wheel to the axle, from the axle to the interior, and that's the uh, body transmission, as they call it. And then you also have, of course, the audible transmission through the air that you hear, and that is not so much impacted. So what we see if we look at this graph from uh, Michelin, then uh, the impact zone for the cavity peak noise or the, the peak noise reduction that you are uh, doing, you see that one spike, that is uh, being impacted, but everything else more or less stays the same. So my measurements were correct in the sense that the total decibel of the entire sound range is not going to change that much. It's just going to have a small peak at a certain uh, frequency or a certain range, small range of frequencies that is going to be impacted. And that is... Um, what is making the difference. So the foam is kind of like soundproofing foam. You can buy that uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, and it's used for soundproofing uh, buildings or boxes or whatever. And it's that kind of uh, foam that we're talking about. And that foam will absorb some of the vibrations. Right? The vibrations um, are not all absorbed. Uh, so it's just within the specific range that the foam will absorb that, but everything else is still going to be transmitted through the body and through the air, uh, so you can hear it. So there's two things at play here. So one is that it is going to depend on how well built your car is, uh, and how easy those vibrations get transmitted through the body. And that's going to differ from material to material. So a steel car, will have a different effect than an aluminum car, will have a different effect than a carbon fiber car, for example. So they also talk about a decibel um, reduction of up to 11 decibels. Michelin claims 9, Continental claims uh, also 9 or 10, I think, and Goodyear claims 11. But they also mentioned that that's the sound level at the point of uh, the tire, but it's not the sound level at the uh, uh, at the interior, so the interior would only be like three to four decibels, and that's that's about it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I have to revise my point on that. I was saying, well, it's not doing anything. Well, it is doing something audibly, but it's not doing something that we can measure with just measuring the decibels. So my measurement at that point was a good one, but the wrong one to measure this specific uh, item. So. If we would re uh, actually re-measure that, we would have to measure the specific range in which uh, this solution would have effect. Um, 
so yeah, there you have it. Uh, made a mistake uh, in claiming that they are not really that silent. Uh, there is a difference. Uh, it is audible. It's just not measurable, but little measurable by uh, measuring the decibels uh, in that sense. So yeah, if you have a Tesla and you can go for the foam padded tires, I think it's a good option because it really does make a difference. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you like my videos, to subscribe and uh, like the videos. And uh, for now, talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.